Hi, my name is Hector Aspurra. I'm a PhD student at Federal University of Minas Gerais in Brazil. I'm also a researcher at the Vale Institute of Technology in Brazil, and I'm going to present the work Three-Dimensional Terrain Aware Autonomous Exploration for Subterranean and Confined Spaces. This is the summary. We are going to start with the introduction and motivation. Mobile robotics are now widely used in the industry, and this is also for mining environments. We have drones for conveyor belt inspection, autonomous trucks, autonomous drill, and even terrestrial robotic device for roller inspection. However, still many dangerous routine inspections are performed manually, especially in subterranean and confined spaces. Confined spaces are characterized by limited entrances and exits, insufficient ventilation, lack of global localization, and unreliable network capabilities. Some examples of these types of environments are tunnel systems, sewers and pipes, caves, and underground structures. Even the current DARPA challenge is focuses on these types of subterranean environments, as the one we have on the right, where we have two examples of confined subterranean spaces from the DARPA challenge. In this work, we tackle the autonomous exploration with a terrestrial robot in confined spaces, such as caves, and subterranean mines. We want to answer the question how to efficiently create a map in those harsh environments. 3D exploration is hard even more in GPS denied scenarios. The lack of global localization, communication interference, and complex and rugged terrain topography make it a hard problem. To tackle this challenge we need to also address three sub-problems, which are 3D navigation, which is how to navigate to a goal safely in 3D, frontier estimation, which parts of the maps are interesting to visit, and frontier allocation, which is which is the best next frontier to visit. Formally, given a robot are in a confined static environment, the problem consists in efficiently build a map of the environment. For that, we must identify and create a set of frontier regions Select a frontier that maximizes the information gain and is relatively close to the robot current's position and determine a feasible and collision-free path from the robot to the selected frontier. Related works. Exploration is fundamental when dealing with coverage and mapping of an unknown region. Most of the literature's works focus on generating 2D maps, which are not adequate for unstructured and uneven environments. Works dealing with 3D environments are mainly based on point clouds, elevation maps, octomaps, or other vocalization algorithms. In this work, we use meshes and octrees to represent complex 3D surfaces. We explore the mesh structure, which is a set of faces and normals for path planning. Meshes can deal with roof tunnel-like environments in contrast to other types of representations such as elevation maps. Subterranean autonomous exploration was pioneered by the works of Drum when they inspected abandoned mines with terrestrial robots. However, they assumed the, the slum and the mapping was two-dimensional. Exploration methods often use some kind of frontier-based selection using metrics such as distance to the information gain, among others. Recent works on subterranean exploration use the information potential field volumetric, estimate the volumetric gain of frontiers uh, and model the environment as a graph. They use some kind of LiDAR sensors or sensor fusion with LiDAR cameras and IMU and perform ray casting to detect flyable or reachable frontiers and perform a semantic classification for frontier selection. In this work, we use meshes and octomaps to generate the volumetric gain of frontiers. We also model our environment as a graph from the, the reconstructed mesh and use some uh, optimal search algorithm. We also use a LiDAR and perform ray casting to estimate the volumetric gain of a frontier. Autonomous exploration. Our proposed pipeline considers a 360 degree range sensor, which is a 3D LiDAR, an EMU and wheel odometry. The slime is performed by an adapted version of the Lego Long Language. A mesh is reconstructed from the occupational grid using a tailored pipeline for caverns. Terrain-aware paths are generated by modeling the mesh 
as a graph and optimal graph search algorithm are executed in this graph. Frontiers are extracted from the mesh and the traversable graph and the frontier gain is estimated using the field of view and range of the sensor at the frontier border. Finally, we want to maximize the trade-off between navigation cost and information gain. So we want to maximize this equation here. Our methodology is a series of chain steps that begin with a ground robot equipped with a 3D LiDAR and a new capable of generating 3D maps of the environment. These 3D maps of the environment are then used with the mesh generation algorithm to generate the mesh. This 3D mesh is modeled as a graph and the traversability graph is generating only with the robot's ritual regions. The mesh and the traversability graph are used to estimate the ritual clusters of frontiers and the visit candidate of each cluster. Holes and missing parts from the original arc tree are filled with a subsampling of the mesh phase. This is performed to prevent ray casting rays from going inside holes and other missing parts on the original sparse arc tree. Measurements are then simulated for every frontier using the sensor model to estimate the volumetric gain. The volumetric gain can be seen in each case for each frontier as red boxes. The transversability graph is then used to generate a safe path for each frontier using terrain aware metrics. These metrics explore the mesh phase normals to estimate terrain roughness. We use four metrics. The first one is distance, that is the Euclidean distance between the phases centroids, the transversability that compares the angle between the phase normal and the canonical C, the energy consumption that estimates the energy the robot is going to spend traversing that area of the map and a linear combination of the previous metrics. Finally, the path is executed by a vector field navigation controller and the process repeats until the stop condition is met. Experiments. Our experimental setup was developed under Copella Sim using Rust Kinetic and we simulated an Auster OS1 LiDAR with 16 beams. The maximum slope angle was configured for 30 degrees and the bumpiness threshold for 25 centimeters. We performed validation over three scenarios. Single level cape map extracted from the DARPA SATI challenge, a multi-level cape map also from the DARPA challenge and a synthetic simplified cape map in a flat environment. The implementation source code is available online on GitHub. This is a fly presentation of the multi-level cave environment. You can see the slopes and the multi-level stage. And this is the online exploration, 20x speed, performed with a ground robot. The white path uh, in the simulation is the is the path between the current robot position and selected frontier for visitation. This exploration cycle repeats itself until there are no more frontiers to visit. The summary of the results of the multi-level cave experiment can be seen here. We have the final point cloud map with the with the robot odometry in white, and we can see that the robot did not repeat itself for the exp exploration paths. At the bottom, we can see the final reconstructed mesh of the complete environment, and at the right, we have the exploration coverage error of this multi-level cage, comparing the proposed approach using the formation gain and the traversability graph generation with a grid selection of the closest next frontier and a random selection of the frontier using a terrain aware path. As we can see, our proposal converges faster and have a lower error rate than the other two approaches. For the single level cave, we can see also 
the final point cloud uh, with the domo robot odometry in white the robot perform a reasonable path with no repetitions we can see below the final reconstructed mesh and we also can see in the exploration coverage error plot at the right that our proposal converged faster to the less error than the other two approaches and in the synthetic cape we can also see the final point cloud map and the final reconstructed mesh and see that the our proposal method also has faster convergence to the lowest error. Conclusions We presented a pipeline for terrain aware autonomous exploration in subterranean and confined spaces that works for uh, terrestrial robots, the cost of traversing the rugged terrain, and the expected information gain of a frontier are used for selecting the next best frontier. The proposed method was validating in realistic cave environments from the DARPA Subterranean Challenge, showing interesting results for complex environments. In simple environments such as long corridors, maybe the nearest frontier will suffice. For future works, we want to develop methods for realistic frontier expansions to estimate what is after the frontier with more accuracy than only using the sensor model alone. We could also do cooperative exploration missions with homogeneous and heterogeneous robot, different robot types, uh, such as aerial and terrestrial co collaboration. We could also search for more efficient mesh generation methods which use GPU-enabled algorithms for faster and highly parallel processing. Thank you very much. Questions?